So now I already numbed it up. Uh, he's got both of the nails on this side and that side uh, is uh, ingrown. So we're gonna start working on it. So it's pretty deep. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, feel no, pain? no pain? Nothing? How about now? Nothing? So I guess this thing's pretty deep in there, huh? So we free this up. He's off this week, so I'm trying to do both both feet today. Usually I, I don't like doing both feet, but since he's off today, it's a, it's a good time to get this done. A lot of times the uh, shoes could be too tight, so in that case, you have to wear a different type of shoes or not too tight of a shoes. A lot of people wear shoes that are too tight. Also, when you have this nail off, uh, this area, the skin kind of moves up and it doesn't have the space for the nail to grow. So that's, so you have to make sure that when you're soaking, you spread this um, skin away from it so that. That's the nail right there. And then there's a big piece of skin. Also then we need to As well. We want to make sure that this drains properly because it's going to be draining from here. So we need to remove all the skin around this so that it uh, properly drains. And then I'm going to make sure that this is nicely all cleaned up, which it is. Chemicals, you can use chemicals afterward, but when it's infected like this, you don't want to use chemicals because that's going to cause more infection. So chemicals can be done after the infection is, is gone. Um, I don't use chemical that often because chemicals are kind of, um, it's easy to do, but um, it makes the nail look really deformed afterward a lot of times. So it's not going to be a cosmetic procedure. So a lot of times it's very ugly after. So we we'll try not to do that procedure. And I prefer cutting it out. Let me use the nail right there. And then there's a little piece sitting over here, which we'll take out as well. Like I said, you can use chemical or you can cut it out like what I do. It makes chemical way of doing it, make it look really ugly. So I try not to use that method. Some people use it because it's easier to use. And there's some skin underneath it that needs to come out so it drains nicely. It's almost done now, so I'll make sure that everything's out of that corner, so it drains nicely and heals. So it looks really good now. There's a little piece that needs to come out as well. Right, to make sure that that piece comes out, so that it looks nice afterwards. This is to stop the bleeding, so it's pretty bloody, and we want to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of times it, I can leave a little spicule of uh, the nail in there and if I don't see it properly then then I may leave it in there which is a big problem so uh, that's why I use a tourniquet to stop the bleeding to that area. So now you're going to start bleeding right away. You see? So I'm going to make sure that it doesn't bleed. It's antibiotic cream. And then bandaging. Okay, how long you want me to leave that on? Just uh, until tomorrow morning, until you. Um, until you start soaking tomorrow morning. So I recommend patients to start soaking twice a day starting tomorrow morning. So antibiotic, and then after that, you could um, put antibiotic cream and a Band-Aid. But if you happen to be home over the weekend, then you wanna 
leave the band-aid open so that you get the air to it because um, more air to it quicker the quicker the area heals okay or you wanna uh, but if you're going in, out doing something then you need to put the band-aid on because you don't want to prevent any further problem or infection yeah. absolutely no pain usually they don't feel any pain at all because um, the pain is worse after about 30 minutes of the procedure that's when they have feel more pain but I give them anesthesia that lasts three to four hours so that bypasses that that pain time so most people don't have pain after I'm back in one week Okay, that's it.